Hey guys, welcome to the first advice talking type video that I'm going to do for my channel. Um, I know I made that video like three weeks ago saying what I'm going to do with this channel, but I got a new job and I got busy and I'm not going to make excuses anymore. So I'm going to try and do a video every week from now until whenever I stop. So I'm not going to make excuses anymore. I have been busy. I work at Starbucks now and I'm getting a lot of hours, which is nice because now I'm making money, which I was not doing before. But um, by not doing these videos, like I said I was going to, I'm not letting anyone down because nobody watches my videos, but I'm letting myself down and I don't want to do that because I get hard on myself and I figured why not just do them. Uh, I seem to be having Fridays off, so I'm going to try and get a video up every Friday. If it's not up on Friday, then it will probably be up a couple days before or a couple days after, just depending on what if my schedule changes or not. Um, so Friday is going to be the target, but if it's not Friday, then I'll do it on another day off or whatever the circumstance is. So, my first topic today, I didn't know what I wanted to start off with for my talking advice my videos, uh, what I wanted it to be, but last week I posted a status on Facebook, which I never do, I don't really use Facebook anymore, I just, Facebook's not a thing for me much, very often, all I do is play Candy Crush, um, but I made a status because I thought it was an issue that a lot of people agree with, and my status was basically why is it okay that guys can make sexual comments to a girl who's walking down the street, minding her own business, and all of a sudden she gets whistled at or honked at, or the guy, somebody's walking past her on the street and they say something about her appearance? Like, don't be gross. Like, no. Like, don't be a pig about it. Like, so I made a big status about it, like a huge paragraph, and I was like, just don't be gross. Like, it's not a compliment. It's disgusting. Like, you're basically objectifying a woman for her appearance and like you're making it as a sexual comment sorry for this lighting I'm filming this later in the day that I planned on um, so the Sun is now turning and facing my room directly so I have lines on my face just try and ignore that but anyways so I made the status and girls started liking it like obviously they agreed and some guys started commenting on it and they're like oh why can't you take a compliment blah 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 and another guy was like oh apparently compliments are dead and all of this bullshit and I was like no telling a girl saying like damn girl to a girl who's walking down the street is not appropriate I don't know about anyone else but for me I don't need those kind of compliments like I don't find those like self confidence boosters for me a compliment is like oh my god I love the color of your hair or I love the hairstyle or you have nice eyes not damn girl or like nice ass more than anything I find that offensive and uncomfortable why can't I walk down the street and feel safe so as this conversation progressed um, more people started commenting on it and it turned into a huge debate it had around 50 likes on the status and it had 160 something comments on it that's ridiculous for a Facebook status these days like it was crazy my mom was commenting on it my boyfriend some random guys I went to high school with a bunch of girls I went to high school with this girl I haven't talked to since elementary school who was trying to defend these disgusting guys my boyfriend's mom commented on it a whole bunch of people like my aunt family friends bunch of people some people who I don't even talk to anymore were commenting on this status I had no idea it was gonna make this much of a debate anyways back to this guy this guy I'm not gonna say names but this guy comment had the nerve to comment on it he's like if you don't want compliments from strangers don't shower don't look nice don't do your makeup don't dress nice don't buy clothes that make you look good excuse me I'm not allowed to make myself feel good. I'm not allowed to have a shower. I'm not allowed to do humanly things that I need to do to keep my personal self healthy. He said, don't eat healthy food, don't work out. Like, 
who are you? Like, I almost said, you better have a girlfriend now or you're never going to get one if that's the way you treat girls. We are not objects. We should have our own right to walk down the street feeling comfortable in what we want to wear. Is that not right? Anyways, so this status started getting a bunch of comments. This one girl who I went to elementary school with commented back defending this asshole guy. She's like, oh, I find that gaining confidence and makes me feel good. Why can't you just accept the compliment? If you're accepting these kind of compliments from strangers, then you have an issue. If that's what makes you feel good about yourself, having these sexual and objectifying comments made towards you, then you have issues. I, this post had made me realize so much that I'm glad I have a boyfriend who tells me I'm beautiful every day, no matter what. Even if I don't shower, if I don't wear makeup, if I wear sweatpants all the time, he tells me I'm beautiful all the time and not just when I look good or try and look good or have makeup on or do my hair or whatever. Basically, we were talking about how we fear rape and that's why we don't like these comments made towards us. And this girl was like, oh, you can't fear rape. That's an irrational fear. Um, sorry. Are we not allowed to be afraid of things anymore? And basically the status just turned into a huge debate about fears, rape, feminism, like all this stuff. It totally took their direction off of my status. Basically, what I'm trying to say, because this could go on forever and I don't want to make these videos like way too long, but if a guy's telling you you look good as you're walking down the street or they are disgusting and roll down their window and yell something as they drive past you, why can't they just keep their comments to themselves? Girls don't want to hear that. Girls want to be able to walk down the street and mind their own business. Like some other girl com commented and she was saying how sometimes we don't feel comfortable with stuff like that because, you know, rape is a serious issue that happens in the world and it could happen any time. You don't know. So when people are making these sexual comments towards you, yeah, we get scared. Like some of us do get scared. And this girl was saying, she's like, oh, why do you get scared of that? Like, it's just a compliment. No, that's how things happen. People say these objectifying sexual comments. Girls take it as, oh, thank you, that's nice. Or, wow, somebody's noticing me. Next thing you know, they get involved with the wrong people and things happen and it's bad. Freedom of speech. Yes, it's a thing. You're allowed to have your own opinion. You're allowed to say things at the appropriate time but if a girl's walking down the street and you think she's attractive or hot or her boobs look big or she has a nice butt keep those comments to yourself because guaranteed she does not want to hear them she's walking down the street to get somewhere she doesn't need you saying these things out of nowhere like no for me it happened twice that week and which is why i made the status and both times I thought it was disgusting and people just need to not do it because, you know, I was walking to meet my friend for coffee and some guy's like, damn girl, nice ass. Uh, no. No. It's not appropriate. I wasn't in the mood. You should just keep your comments to yourself. Yes, I've walked down the street and been like, wow, that guy's really attractive. Do I go up to him and tell him? No. It's common sense. Um, also, if you have an opinion and somebody doesn't agree with it, don't tell them they're wrong. They're allowed to have their own opinion. This girl was telling me our fears were of rape were irrational or like walking down the street is irrational. Um, sorry, but is somebody who's afraid of spiders, is that irrational too? It's a fear you can't help it from happening. You, just because you're not afraid of something doesn't mean somebody else isn't. Why can't we all just like get along and have our own opinions and agree or disagree, but don't make somebody, don't tell somebody they're wrong for thinking something or having an opinion about something, whatever. So anyways, <laughs> um, it got into a pretty big argument. Um, a lot of people made some really good comments on it. A lot of people made some bad comments on it that I did not agree with. I deleted at least three or four people that day and it went on for two days. So um, it was a good conversation because I, it, got a lot of people talking and I guess it brought a lot of attention to people 
but it got out of hand because of certain people telling me, some of the other people that were commenting on it that were agreeing with me, that we were wrong for being afraid or thinking something's gross or something we don't want to happen to us. We are allowed to feel uncomfortable in these situations as well as you're allowed to feel comfortable with them. If that's what boosts your confidence, great. It does not boost everyone else's confidence and you need to accept that. That nobody is the same. We're not all like you. Some of us have fears of spiders. Some of us don't. Some of us fear death. Some of us don't. It does not make anything irrational or rational. It's life. It's, it is what it is and we can't help it. So that is pretty much where I'm going to end off today. There's a lot more I could say about that because it was such a big thing that happened in the last week that I wanted to talk about on here because I don't know. Just opinions are opinions. Freedom of speech is a thing that's allowed to happen. We can talk, we can debate, but you can't tell somebody they're wrong for thinking something or for being afraid of something or whatever. Everyone is different and we have to accept that. But some people just don't know when to shut up and don't know where to keep their limits. So, so this was the first video for my new thing, my new channel, my new video thing. I don't know, what am I doing? Like I said, I'm gonna do one every week because I feel like it's good to just talk. Like, I like to talk, people like to talk. I like having a discussion, but I don't really have anyone to talk to. So I'm gonna talk to you guys and I hope you guys like it. And I hope we can talk about real things that happen in life, like, like my status, like that happens weekly for me and it's, I feel like I need to talk about it. So yeah, if you guys have any comments or if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know so I can do more of these and I guess this video is more of like a rant, but I want to do like advice videos and stuff as well. So. Let me know what you think. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys next Friday.